In order to install K40 Whisper on Windows, uh, there are special instructions for that. And on his Windows setup page, you will see a link to the download page and he says to download the exe file. Now hold on because there is a zip file for 32 and 64 bit windows, but there's also the exe file. Uh, that's what you want because it's going to set up the USB drivers. So in summary, make sure that you download the executable file from the K40 website and not the zip files. And also make sure that the machine is plugged in and on whenever you run the installer. We need to allow it to run anyway. So we'll go until we see this option to install the Windows Lib USB driver. And if we don't do that, then um, I think you'd have to go back through the installation process. Now we're going to have the driver installed. So it says installing the driver will cause the laser draw and corral laser to stop working unless the driver is removed. Now I don't use laser draw. I think that laser draw is the program that comes with the cheap Chinese laser. It's not that great of a program and the whole reason we're using K40 is because we like it a lot better and it works with Inkscape and other stuff. So yes, I don't care that the other stuff isn't going to work. I don't have Corel Draw. Before you install the driver, you have to have the machine plugged in and on in order for it to find it. Alright, now let's come back to our screen here and we see that the driver is displayed and the USB ID is detected. So let's go ahead and hit replace driver. So now open K40 and hit initialize laser cutter. You'll see the machine kind of home itself a little bit and I can jog it around. So it's just good, driver's working. It's actually ready to cut at this point. So in summary, make sure that you download the executable file from the K40 website and not the zip files. And also make sure that the machine is plugged in and on whenever you run the installer.